Hey, what's up everyone? This is Billy Crayona here with 80sinyourface.com and you are listening to UTFO, Roxanne Roxanne. Remember that one? We're going back. It's the 25th anniversary for this one. And in a few minutes, we're going to get Mixed Master Ice on the phone. We're going to talk with him and see what's up. For now, let me turn this down so I can give you some news. Just want to let you know, uh, first of all, Samantha Fox has a new album out called Angel with an Attitude. Originally released in Canada, and then it went straight to digital, and it's now available in the U.S. Angel with an Attitude, the latest release from Samantha Fox. Now, I've gotten many emails from you all wanting to know if there's an address to write to Boy George. Um, as of the moment, I have not heard anything back. I've contacted his publicist and his management, and there is yet no address for Boy George. As soon as I have it, I will post it, and I will send out an email to let you know that it's available. On the flip side, El DeBarge, who is also locked up, his address is available. Um, go to the search bar at the top and just put in El DeBarge, and I'm sure it's the only result for him on the site that has his mailing address to where you can write to him. Um, the Fat Boys. Cool Roxy, cool Roxy of the Fat Boys has released his solo effort. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it's released yet, but it will be. But for more information on that, you can go to theoriginalfatboys.com or you can go to coolrockski.com and see what's up with him. Um, Michael Jackson, the auction of Neverland, is going to be happening in April. Uh, for more information on that, just scroll down to the middle of the site. You can see some of the things that are going to be going up on auction and a lot of stuff, including the front gates to Neverland. Uh, Laura Branigan, it's her fifth year anniversary of her being away. You know, she passed away. And if you'd be interested in attending the memorial, go to laurabranniganonline.com for more information on that. And also, if you scroll down, click on the banner. It'll bring you to more information on that as well. Um, as you know, the month of March is devoted to Gloria Estefan. We have an exclusive interview with Gloria up now, and there's also a contest with Gloria to win some autographed LPs, record albums. Remember those? Vinyl records? <laughs> We got a few of them there. There's three of them. So for a chance to to win one of three albums, click on that big banner right there of Gloria Estefan right under this video so you can see what's up. And check out the interview we do with her too. See what she's doing these days. Uh, New Shoes, who was big in the 80s, 86 I think, with um, I Can't Wait and then their follow-up hit, Point of No Return. We will be having an exclusive interview with them real soon and we'll also be doing a contest with them as they will be sending us autographed copies of their new, old new single, I Can't Wait, Unplugged. you got to stay tuned for that. Um, we are having a fan interactive interview with Arlene of Leather and Lace, and make sure you check that out. Click on the thing on the top right, you see like a little banner with her picture right there, you click on that and you can post your questions for Arlene, and that interview will be happening soon too, but you get to ask the questions, not me, so post your questions there for Arlene. And also, Stacy Q, she has a new website. A uh, member here on the site by the name of Scott has created a website called StacyQOnline.com. It's also an interactive website just like this one. Feel free to join that site and join that site. Come back to our site and enter the contest for your chance to win uh, the Queen of 80 CD by Stacy Q. All you got to do is join the site, come back to ours, post on the thing that you've joined it, and you automatically entered in to win a con, you know, that CD from Stacy Q. But right now, let's get Mixmaster Ice on the phone from UTFO. Hold on. Hello? Hello? You there? Alright, hold on. I'm going to put you on speaker. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. On the phone, we got Mixmaster Ice from UTFO. How you doing? Not too bad, man. Everything is good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing good here. Loving the 80s. Bringing it all back. That's right, man. The 80s is where that good music was, man. Not saying that music ain't still good, but we had a we had a special thing jumping off in the 80s, that's for sure. Definitely. So, uh, let me tell you, let me ask you, uh, Roxanne, Roxanne, it's coming back. Tell me about it, 25th anniversary. Yes, man, uh, a big hit for, for, for the group in 1984, and, um, you know, doing the math, that's like 25 years ago, man. So, coming up uh, in this, uh, this summer, uh, flash this fall, uh, that song would be 25 years old. So yes, the 25th anniversary of the song Roxanne, Roxanne. It's official. Cool, and I understand that there's a 
non-official, but there is a remix out for Roxanne Roxanne. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know, well, a lot of people, man, ask us about that, that song a lot. You know, being that it's a hip-hop classic, you know, to be fortunate to even be blessed to have a classic in the game is, is a blessing in itself. But uh, the educated rapper, I think he was some some, um, some rappers out of New York, I think one of his protégés and him did like a little remix. It's not an official remix, but it's something they had a little fun with. I think he posted it on the internet just to get a little feedback off it and it kind of took off on its own. Like a lot of people kind of was vibing with it and, um, you know, wanted to know more information about it. But yeah, it's kind of hot. I'm glad, I'm glad you got to check it out. Not only did we get to check it out, but we're going to feature it on 80sinyourface.com as an exclusive. You'll only be able to hear it here and on the official UTFO MySpace at myspace.com slash UTFO. Um, so what's what's been up with you? You got any projects going on? Yeah, you know, I'm um, still DJing. This is actually my, this, this summer will be my 29th DJ anniversary, DJing on the ones and twos. And um, I'm looking forward to know hitting the city near you and and a country near you as well and also i have a few groups that i've been managing i currently move from new york and i'm in the midwest right now i'm in columbus ohio and uh i'm dealing with a lot of a lot of groups from out in this area you know trying to help them with artist development and different things of that nature but i got a couple of rsb groups that i'm working with and a couple of uh, rap groups as well nice and what about the other guys are they still into the music Yes, everybody's still active. Uh, Doc's been real aggressive on putting a bunch of songs together. He's trying to uh, take a stab at another solo um, CD. He's got some really great music he's going to be hitting everybody with. Um, an educated rapper actually went back to college and has um, successfully, uh, he will be graduating this, uh, I think in a couple of months is the actual graduation date. He um, will be graduating Valley Victorian of the class of 09 of his, of his school. So we're real happy and, and, and blessed for him to be able to come back and get his degree and at such a high caliber of, of, of the class. To, to graduate Valley Victorian, that's, that is that's, incredible. Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. Especially at this stage in the game and, you know, you know, and, and, and being, in, you know, where his age is, to even have the ability to go back and do that is just phenomenal. So we're real happy about that as well. Kango, I know he's, he, he um, Kango does a lot of different things. He's always looking to produce and manage. I think he's working real hard with his, with his sons. I think his sons are out there aggressively putting music and stuff together to shop and deal, and I know he's, he's hands-on with that as well. So all of us are very active still working in the business and just trying to, you know, do what we do. Music and hip-hop is our life, and the entertainment business is what we do, you know? Well, this is great. I hope soon VH1 brings you guys up there for Hip Hop Honors because you know you guys deserve it. You guys are pioneers just as well as everyone else. I appreciate that, love. Definitely. You know, uh, if it happens, we we ride that train right on through like we supposed to. But, you know, in the meanwhile, we got to keep it moving, you know. So if it happens, it'll be a blessing. You know, I'm a very uh, spiritual person. I always believe, you know, when, when whatever God's will is going to happen. So if it's meant to be, it will. You know what I mean? All right. Well, just so you know, I will be making some phone calls, see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. And definitely thanks to everybody out there that has been supporting myself, Mix Math Dice, and the rest of the crew, the group throughout all my years and, and supported us with our music and, 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 and been to some of the concerts and things like that. You know, it means a lot when, you know, when you look back 25 years into a career and you still are respected and people still are inspired by what you have done. You know, it means a lot. And I just want to thank everybody out there for supporting us as well. And definitely shout out to you for this uh, the situation that you're doing right now with the 80 past and present. That, that whole idea is real crazy that you got jumping off and I'm definitely a supporter of it a big fan of what you're doing and I want to shout out all the fans and that's supporting you and all the artists that are up on the roster as well thank you appreciate that so much but um I'm going to have to cut this short because you know YouTube only limits 10 minutes allows 10 minutes okay. and I don't know if I beat that yet <laughs> but I do want to <laughs> say um I know we conversed earlier and you said you know Lisa Lisa I gave her a call today and told her I talked to you and she says to say hi too Definitely, Lisa Lisa's family. We go back and uh, we made a lot of music back in the days together. Also, de definitely I want to do a quick plug for everybody out there. Um, if, you, if you want to holler at me personally and get to see some of the things I'm doing, be sure to log on to my website, www.mixmasterice.com. Show your love, let me know what you're doing, and um, I'll get back at you. 
All right, man. Thanks, Mr. Mixmaster Ice, for talking with us, and we'll be back in touch with you soon. Yes, shout out to everybody out there. Blessings and much success for what you're doing. Peace. All right, bye. Well, there you have it. That was Mixmaster Ice from UTFO, and we will have an exclusive interview up soon with Mixmaster Ice from UTFO. It was conducted today, so be a little bit before we actually put it up because we've got so many interviews in a line here. But um, just want to let you know, that's the real deal. Mixmaster Ice and UTFO. Thanks for checking out 80sinyourface.com.